Welcome, this is Companies Profile brought to you by AIG Media Pro. My name is Omotola Ayeni. Today I have the CEO of Keshap Properties in the studio with me and she'll be giving a full detail about what Keshap entails. Hi ma'am, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Uh, please kindly give us your full name and every detail you think we should know about you and Keshap. Thank you very much, AIG Media Pro, and thank you for having me here. Okay, my name is Abdul Abiyodun Fawcett. Um, Kesha Properties is a real estate marketing firm. We are in the, we're in the business of selling homes and lands for investors. Um, we provide affordable lands and homes for um, Nigerians who want to solve the need, the, the problem of housing. Okay. Okay. Um, I think when, when anybody has real estate, or maybe they hear anything about housing or accommodation, or even you being an agent, first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, investment. People see real estate as like a very big investment. So you, you being um, an expert, so to say, in this field, how do you think, personally, how have you grown with Kesha? Oh, okay, now that you now know more about oh, real estate, do you think it is the safest place to um, put an investment? How would you encourage someone out there to come and invest in Kesha and why? Firstly, let me quickly um, bring in something. Real estate um, investments in Nigeria it, um, has been taken to mean another thing entirely. Yeah, basically, when people say professionals, practitioners in the real estate industry, they call them agents. They believe, okay, everybody is offering them to come and probably rent a house. That's the most common. And probably also buy a land or a home. Okay, but real estate investment goes beyond that. It goes um, beyond you just buying or rent, renting rent a house. Apart, yeah. As special properties, we are major in sales okay and also we give uh, our advisory services to people in our company you don't really have to buy from us you could come in and ask us that okay where do you want where should i invest is this uh, property a good buy okay. so cash properties isn't just an agent or whatever it is called it is a real estate marketing and advisory firm so we can so start to say can, it's you guys also do consultations yes Okay. Yes. So we 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 hunt agents. We have professionals. We are practitioners in the real estate industry in Nigeria. So um, basically, you said something while talking that okay. that um, how do I actually invite people to come into real estate? I like to say this that we have people who have a knowledge of real estate already in Nigeria, okay. especially those. Um, uh, I'll call them the HNIs, that's the high network individuals. Okay. They already understand what real estate is all about. So they're how that the only thing that is needed is for us to also, you know, be able to present them what they actually want. The they all, you already know the advantages of investing in real estate. They know the advantage they stand to hand okay. when they have homes, you know. So we do less, less of work. Mm -hmm. educating them because okay. you already know they're, they're aware about it okay yeah. so i think most times when people hear about or hear company's name there it's probably maybe an acronym or they clipped to different maybe the spouse's name or their kid's name how, how did you coin cash up oh <laughs> that's a big question actually oh. because uh, sometimes i like it confidential but oh, now okay. i'm going to say it okay uh, it's um it's coined from three names okay um, Kende, Shola, then Hapjo. Okay. Uh, Kende is my late grandmother's name. Okay. Um, of blessed memory. I love her so much. Mm. May I still continue to rest in peace. Amen. And then SH is my mom's name. Okay. And I then Abdul. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my mom is, in fact, I, she means everything to me. So then Hapjo is my father's name. I mean, sometimes <laughs> it's important that you name your business or your company something that has, that, that um, dear to you because then you so you know you, there's this um, attitude you have towards something that you start by yourself especially when you now coin it to people you love as well yeah. so i think that's like a very nice because when i was listening i was like <laughs> kesha kesha right? okay one more thing one more thing okay. kesha in, it's the same name okay it's the same name in the, i think in indian oh wow yeah it means self-confidence Okay. So that means you even actually took time <laughs> to think about all these things and coining yeah, it together yeah, to, yeah, to make yeah, so your brand, I mean, that distinct. means yeah, exa exactly that your brand represents even the meaning of the name itself. So that's, that's a good thing. Okay, another thing is that um, 
when when we're talking about real estate, you're dealing with people. Some people do I know as aware as you said, like the H and I's. Well, you you know you have to build confidence in your clients. How do you do this? Not everybody is easy to um how do I put it? Not everybody is easy to convince. To convince, okay. Well, sure. this will we'll answer this question right after this short break. Please, we'll be right back with the CEO of Cash Shop Properties. Please stay tuned. All right, welcome back from that short break. I'm still with the CEO of Keshab Properties, Mrs. Abdul. So before we went on the short break, I was asking you how you gain the confidence of your clients as a real estate um, investor. So how do you do that? Okay, one of the major challenges um, made uh, uh, faced rather in uh, recent time is um, this what you mentioned, how to convince people. I found out that prior to my coming into the real estate industry some years back, I found out that there are lots of atrocities that has been done. So when I came in and I was doing my thing in the very honest way, which I've always done, mm -hmm. I found out that people tend to believe you're lying. You're not saying the truth. It's um, kind of it's, it's challenging having to you know, convince them that you're saying the truth at all times. Yeah. But something has made my company stand out and my work stand out is because I always say the truth no matter how it hurts. And um, in the short run, it's not always very good because people... Some people don't very, really want to hear the yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't like the truth. They, they don't, they, they don't, you know, truth, they say it's always better. Bitter, yeah. So, but... Um, on the long run, when they go, they tend to come back and say, okay, same style they were saying the truth. And then and again, I've had a lot of returning clients saying that, oh, you have, you've been good. Mm. Your work ethics is, is, absolutely is, is nice. good. So c they keep coming back. But it's just it's just the first time that you need to prove yourself. Yeah, yeah that impression is important. First impression. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm also bothered about, what, what about if we have... Um, Nigerians in diaspora, people that are not around, and then they want to probably buy properties from you. Is it possible? How do you reach out to them? How do you maintain that line, that balance of, oh, you're far away, you might not be able to see your property, and they still have confidence and trust your work? Mm -hmm. How do you manage to do that? Thank you. For, for, for people in diaspora, it's um, kind of easy now. Um, in, the, in the good old days, what people do is they source, um, they, they give the phone to their family to help them mm -hmm. and they face a whole lot of challenges. So these days, uh, they come to my company, for instance, a real estate company that is very, that is, that is trusted. genuine, that is trusted. You know, they say, okay, this is what we want, this is what we're looking for. You know, though we face challenge in that area too, so they say they cannot come out to come and inspect it. So in most cases, what they do is they just look for be a cousin of them, if a younger okay. sister, a younger brother to help them check. But when it comes to payment, yes, I wanted to say because you cannot really trust everybody. Yes. When it comes to payment, after they have they have dealt with the company, they've asked the questions, they've done their own research, they um, they pay directly to the company. It is not advisable to to pay, pay to someone to, and to pay. pay. So just pay directly. Yes, they pay directly. There are so many platforms now that wherever you are in the world, you, you can still pay make into it. any company accounts in anywhere. Okay. So that's what they make use of, and it makes it very, you know, very easy and less problematic, and yeah. then they don't have to be duped by somebody. Yeah. The only thing is that what I notice about Nigerians in diaspora is that. They, they they have this mind of they, this kind of mindset that Nigerians lie a lot. So when they see the person who is saying the truth, they still take him or her as to a be, liar. Be but but we can't blame them. I guess people put this time yeah. has proven to so many of them that this lady is saying the, the truth true. because you've not had any problem with any of the property we sold wow. since incorporation. Oh wow, okay, now that you just even mentioned that, how long has Kesha been been active? How long has your um, Kesha Properties as a company, how long have you um, been running this company? Uh, Kesha Properties started in 2015. Okay. So precise, but prior to 2015, you know, just a little you yeah. you know, trying to know the I mean, I, mean, I think that. you're doing pretty well for a three year old company then. <laughs> well, if you say so, it's going it. to four years now. I mean, know. time, so go, time much, goes fly. So, so let's say four years in the industry. Um, this is how far we've gone. We have come. And there's still, still many more to, to come. Exactly. Yeah. 
apart from Kesha properties as a whole, um, according to my research, it shows that you're an entrepreneur and you do other things. What exactly, how do you manage all these things together? Yeah, thank you very much. I, uh, I'm an entrepreneur, like you said, and um, my interest cost across real estate, agriculture, consulting because i have a background in accounting i actually oh. read economics okay i'm a lot of my investing and um i have um ECA that's i'm an associate of accountants i also have a diploma in marketing oh, so wow. i i have deep interest in consulting as well mm. so it's not only properties i do i'm, I'm also into uh, manufacturing you do have a lot on your plate yeah, really so manufacturing i do i make um soaps Cash up spotless soaps, so you can Google it to see it's right there. So basically, I'm an entrepreneur to the core because uh, maybe because of my first degree background, yeah. I understand the need for Nigeria to be a producing nation. You know, we yeah. need. Um, I tell people that on every bottle or container of an export product that you buy, you're employing someone someone outside your country. You're creating wealth for somebody outside your country. Yeah. So the the need for Nigerians to be productive as a nation, so make me to also have interest in manufacturing. Mm. All right. so, okay. So one one last um, thing I want you to um, educate the people that are listening to you now. Is cash does cash up just um, is it just apart from me being a consultancy firm or marketing firm as well and then you know some some um how do i put some real estate ventures are just just houses do you do lands as well do you do estates you know some people are listening and, and they need like full detail okay if i'm reaching out to this person does this person have this particular um property as to my taste that kind of thing what exactly can they get from keshab um, the very first advice I'm going to give to anybody that is intending to invest in real estate is that they should always make their research. Yeah. So look for a company who is reputable. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, they should engage the services of a professional because it's not something they can actually do by themselves. Because so many companies look real, but they're not real. Mm. So after researching about the company you want to invest in, then I advise you to go for what you can afford. There are properties of as low as 500,000 naira. One of our major partners now in Kesha Properties is Buford Homes. Okay. And they offer Buford Park for 500,000 naira only, mm. which you can even pay in installment in four months, in six can months. So everybody so has affordability time. Affordability is key. Yeah. If you're able to afford it, then you can go for it. Okay, at Kesha Properties, now our properties is from 500,000 naira that I mentioned, ranging all the way to 85 million naira, 100 million, and all the um, like that. Yeah. So basically, the we offer what is affordable to every class in the society. There, there's, 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 uh, cut across the. Yeah, every, the, everybody the has class, something the class, the to get class, from Kesha. The high network in, individuals. So, Kesha properties is not limited to just a side of Nigerians, people who can afford So, everybody, every, exactly. So, everybody is everybody comfortable is with Kesha. Yeah, everybody is our prospect. We are here to solve the problem of housing. So, and we understand that 95% of Nigerians are living on a middle class level. Right. So, or even low class, so to say. So, because the middle class is almost eroded away now, it's just a low class and exactly. high class. So, we are open to. You, you, the, there's the availability of homes for everybody homes from Kesha. And apartments. All right. There you have it. I mean, they say real estate is now one of the leading forms of investment and Kesha Properties is going to give you the confidence you need and it's going to help you invest properly in properties, in everything that you have to do relating to accommodation, literally. So I would advise that you definitely check out Kesha Properties today. And um, thank you, Mrs. Abdul. It was definitely fun. Thank you. I'm listening and getting educated by what you just said. I know now that it is important for me to invest in real estate and definitely invest in cash up as a whole. Yes, it thank was... you very much. All right, thank you. So you're watching Company Profile again, and this is brought to you by AIG Media Pro. I'm C. Omotola Aini. Please do not forget to follow us on all our social media handles at AIG Media Pro, and also check out our YouTube channel at AIG Media Pro.